Hey there YouTube! So today I decided to do a trying foreign foods video because well I just so happened to pass by my local my local Asian market today and I always go there to buy mochi ice cream which is so good um and I got the cookies and cream which I always get you know normally when you get mochi ice cream it's green tea but I got ice cream I mean <laughs> duh I got cookies and cream instead so while I was there, I decided to buy some other things that I haven't tasted yet, um, which is seaweed. I bought three different flavors to try. Um, I did try to make a video earlier in the day, so I'm just gonna slip a clip of that of the ice cream in there, so I don't, so I don't have to like show you guys like I don't have to go downstairs and go get it, and then it melts or whatever. So I'm just gonna. Put that clip in there but I tried to make this video earlier so all my stuff is gonna be open already but um my phone totally died on me in the middle of me filming and now I'm filming on my mom's camera so we're gonna see how it works out so oh if a drum roll roll please <laughs> um so first what we have here it's a box of Big Roll Seaweed. So this is from the company, I want to say it's called Tayo K Noi, but I don't know because the way they spell it is very interesting. But yeah, that's the box right here. Um, and, oh it's on both sides, okay, it doesn't really matter. I did not, I never noticed that. Anyways, so it comes with 10 packets. The packets look like this, in little skinny packets. And this flavor is coconut flavor. Now, no one ever thinks of coconut flavored seaweed. When I think of seaweed, I think of crunchy, salty, maybe spicy, but I don't think of sweet. Um, so this is the coconut. And then open it and it looks like this. So it's just a roll, hollow roll. Literally a roll of seaweed. <laughs> um, it's not really big in my opinion. I don't know why they say big roll, but I mean, it is bigger than the picture. I guess it is big. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Oh. The only thing about eating seaweed, it gets all in your teeth while you're eating it. So you look like you just ate like a bunch of grass. Mm. So, this tastes like coconut chips. Um, it tastes, it doesn't taste like seaweed. If you've tasted seaweed before, you know that after you chew it for a little while, it's like floating kind of in your mouth. Like it's like there in your mouth for a while. And you have to like pick it out of places because it softens up or whatever. So this does have a really nice like crunchy taste. Crunchy taste, like a crunchy feel and everything. like. It's really good, but my only issue is obviously seaweed gets stuck all up in your tape. <sighs> but um, this this tastes just like coconut chips. Um, it doesn't really taste like seaweed until after it's been after it's torn apart in your mouth. But when you first taste, it tastes really good. It just tastes like coconut chips. On to the next one, bro. Seaweed snack. Oh. See, I, I opened this earlier, but I didn't really smell it. I'm smelling it right now. And it smells like fish food. 
like legit fit like fish pellets you know the little flat colorful flakes that you give to fish that's what this smells like or dog food it smells like either one that you feed to your pet so this is seafood flavor it says delicious with good from the sea and this is also from Thai Thai Teo K Noe anyways so let's dig right in. I'm not excited about this one. This one smells really weird. Oh my god, look how long this is. <laughs> I don't think I can eat all this on camera. Look how long that is. Can you see how gritty that is? I don't want to put it too close to the camera because this camera does not have like the autofocus where it like focuses right on you. It sucks. So hopefully like this isn't blurry and I have to redo this whole video. That would suck. But yeah, so it, it looks very grainy and gritty and it looks flaky. It almost looks like fish scales on a fish. It looks like, like a mountain of stuff is on here. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, it doesn't taste that bad, but it, when you first taste it, you can, you smell it a lot first before you taste it, so you instantly think you're going to be tasting like fish food. I don't know if any of you have ever tasted fish food, but my sister got me to taste fish food, fish food when I was like seven. She told me that it was really good and her and a friend pretend that they ate it. And I ate it and she's like, haha, so I know what fish food tastes like. <laughs> but the aftertaste isn't bad. But once again, you get like that leftover seaweed just kind of sitting there and it doesn't want to go away. And the flavor of this like kind of leftover looks, tastes really weird. So, um, probably rate that like a 2 out of 10. Not my cup of tea. And last but not least, just kidding. I ain't got no vocals. Um, the kimchi. So guilty as charged. I've eaten probably all of it almost. Um, this bag was full when I got it, and now it's probably. Oh, okay, I still got a good stack in there. I'm good. Anyways. <laughs> So, oops. So this is the same people. Tayo Kanoi. If somebody knows how to say this, list it below, please. That'd be awesome. Um, anyways, yeah, kimchi flavor. And this tastes so good. When you first smell it, it smells like stale chips. Like, um, like, which chips does this smell like? It smells like some chips that belong like with salsa, maybe. Not tortilla chips, obviously. I'm talking about actually like flavored chips. But the flavored chips have been sitting there for a while. So, and then they're like really stale and taste weird and smell salsa-y. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, these, um, but they taste so good. Like the smell is, it completely goes away once this is like in your mouth. Cause, and, and look at how crisp that is and flat. It's so perfect. So when you eat it, it tastes sweet. Kind of tastes a little lemony, I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Onion, paprika, garlic, chili. You could definitely taste the chili <clears throat> and sugar. So after it kind of sits in your mouth, it gets the tang and the spiciness, but it's not like so spicy that you need something to drink. Only if you eat like 10 of these in one setting, which I have done today and I had to get something to drink. But the flavor is really nice. I like it because it kind of seems like it's the perfect combination of everything. It's sweet, but it also has a salty side. 
and then like it kind of jumps into the spiciness so I really like this a lot um, but those of you that don't really like kimchi this actually to me does not taste anything like kimchi because I can eat kimchi all day okay maybe not all day because I'd probably you know my stomach will probably be messing up after that but kimchi I can eat it like my first time ever trying kimchi was at a Korean barbecue place and I was like oh my god this is so good and that was like one of the side dishes <laughs> and I was eating it just with the fork with nothing just by itself so I like kimchi this does not taste like kimchi to me but I really like this though so yeah mm -hmm. this bag gonna be empty by the end of the night Anywho, so that wraps up this video for the day. But do what you gotta do. Stay awesome and have a blessed day, week, whenever you're watching this video. Bye. I took your girl last week. Now I'm trying to be her man. Yeah. I don't got time for freaks because they messing up my